Sorry guys, my camera stopped. So that's coming off of my standard uh, playlist there. And it pulls up the, um, the album cover, the album art. Now, I'm gonna go back on the stereo here. And now the Pandora option is highlighted or it's lit up. So now I can actually click it and it's asking me if I want to allow it to communicate with the Pioneer receiver. I'm gonna click yes. Starts the application automatically. There it tells me it's connected to Pioneer. And there we go. So the information comes up, uh, album cover. Now, because it is connected to my iPhone that has signal, um, I mean, I can give a thumbs up to the song. I can create a playlist right on the radio, uh, track artist, so on. Uh, you can bookmark it, thumbs down. Um, so anything, well, really just about anything you can do on the phone for the Pandora, you can get on here. Um, so, I mean, that works great. Now, the only downfall uh, to using it this way and not having the actual iPhone 5 interface cable, um, let me go back here. I'm going to have to stop the... I have to go... Okay. So, it's connected to Pandora. I'm going to click on iPod. That way it pulls my playlist coming off my iPhone again. Now, the only downfall to not having the actual iPhone 5 interface cable um, is the fact that I cannot click the video um, like I could with the iPod. Um, and that's because the iPhone 5 uses digital video and this cable does not connect or convert or transfer, sorry, uh, the di digital video to the Pioneer. Now, if I had an interface cable, I would be able to click that. Uh, and that's why you need the um, the VGA to lightning adapters to connect everything and so it recognizes everything. Um, so, like I said, that's not going to work. But, I mean, everything else is going to work for me. Um, you know, um, and it works for me. Um, so, now, another thing that I have on here... Well, actually, let me go back here. I can use Bluetooth audio um, from the uh, iPhone 5. Um, and, and it plays, I mean, it plays just fine. Well, it should play just fine. Okay, so there it is. Now, if I go to my iPhone and click Pandora, uh, for some reason, Let me play it. Anyway, uh, what I was going to tell you is... Um, actually, let me try here. No. Anyway, um, what I was going to tell you is that actually when you're playing Pandora through Bluetooth, it doesn't pull up the, uh, the album art for the artist, which, again, isn't a big deal. Uh, but you can get the ar album art by plugging the iPhone into the cable. Um, so what I have, another thing that I do have connected is, um, as you can see here, it says rear view, it's for a uh, rear view camera. Uh, and when I purchased the radio or the head unit, um, the, I actually got a free rear view camera, um, included for free. Um, and all this is, is it's a Boss Audio Systems Cam 22 and it's a rear view camera, it's flush mount. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't stick up any more than a penny from where it's installed. So, um, and uh, as I told you before, I have a 2012 WRX 
Yeah, I know it's a little funny to have a rear view can camera on a WRX, but um, it's actually come in quite handy pulling out of a parking lot, especially during like Black Friday, Christmas, the holidays. I mean, cars are coming in and out. It was really nice having uh, a set of eyes behind you and you can see. So uh, I have the key turned on. I'm going to put the car in reverse. And there you go, there's my garage door. <laughs> now, the only downfall um, to having this camera on here is you can kind of see how the the uh, the perimeter indicators are kind of facing up. And that's because uh, I didn't want to put the camera on my bumper. Um, I didn't want to have it near the license plate. Um, so I actually put it on a trim piece on my trunk now the downfall to that is, I'm going to open the garage door here. The only downfall to that is the fact that the camera kind of faces upward or more level than it does face down. So as you can see, um, now take in mind that uh, my driveway is sloped. So these are facing a little bit higher than would it be on normal flat ground. Um, so, but anyway, the indicators are facing upward now that's not that big of a deal to me um i just like having the set of eyes behind me as you can see i can still see i mean i have a wide fish view angle um so i'm going to get out and show you where the camera is located and there it's plugged in or that's where it's connected um And you can see, um, you know, you have quite a bit of view there. Um, and that's what I like about it. Um, so, yeah, I have a rear view camera connected on a WRX, but it's not that big of a deal to me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so that the rear view camera does override anything that you have. So if you have, um, say, a, the radio on, um, you know, whatever you have going, it it will override it. Say you have a movie playing for your passenger, um, you know, it will override that. Um, so there's the DVD. There's the rear view. So... Now, it does have an option to turn it on manually, um, but I have it. I don't have it wired to a constant hot wire all the time. Um, so that doesn't work. Um, so, turn that off. But, uh, anyway, yeah, everything else works. And uh, those of you familiar with the 2500 know that you can, I mean, you can change a background. Um, I actually have a picture of uh, oops of a car on there. It's actually um, an STI. Uh, so let me get out of here. So there's the picture. Um, you know, but anyway, it's the same as the 2500 for the most part, except for the fact that you have the option for digital. Uh, video so um, anyway uh, like I said I'll post information about um, about the different com components um, on the radio um, that are new for 2014 um, as far as I know the 2013 components will not work for this um, so um, but that might be wrong I actually heard that from the source that told me that I couldn't connect the the different components together, have more than one. Um, he actually seemed like he knew what he was talking about, so I'm just going to take his word for it. Um, and um, I did actually pull up the different components online and look at the, uh, the cable connections that they had. Um, and yeah, it does look like they all plug into the same thing. So you can't have more than one connected. So, but anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, if you're looking into this unit, um, let me know, put it in the comments. Um, 
you know, I'll make another video if you need something specific. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll put the information um, to the relay bypass that I used for this particular model, 2014 model. I, if I'm not mistaken, it was used on a 2012 model and it worked just fine for my 2014 model. So um, anyway, yeah, I'll post that information in there. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching.